Hello everyone, my name is Jordi from CineCam and recently I've collaborated with Adobe to make the short film Backup Restore. It's a sci-fi short film inspired by Terminator Dark Fate. Now I've had many shots where I needed to track the motion of the camera. One of those shots was where Peter, the main character, interacted with a display underneath Anna's skin. Now of course that display wasn't real, so let's fire up Adobe After Effects. The interface elements needs to follow the camera movement and stick to Anna's back. In order to make it or easy, I've added two dots with a marker. Now in Adobe After Effects, locate the tracker window. If you can't find it, you can always go to the menu, window, and from here choose tracker. We're going to click on track motion. Next we can choose what to track. In our case, we need to capture the position, rotation, and scale, which is going to give you two tracking points. And this is the reason why we drew the two dots on Anna's back. Place the tracking points over each dot. The inner square defines the point that you want to track, which is the black dot. And the outer square is the search area, where the tracker is going to look for that black dot. So if you have lots of movements, you'll need to enlarge this. In this case, we're working with gentle camera movement, so I'm going to keep it pretty small. So once they sit in place, you can go ahead and click on the track forward button. This will capture the motion. And when it's done, we're going to go to the menu on top, layer, new null object. Now, this null object is a nothing layer. It literally does nothing, but we can use it to store the tracking data in. Click on Edit Target from the Tracker window and make sure that the null object is selected. If that's the case, you can go ahead and click on Apply. From the pop-up window, X and Y has to be selected and then just click OK. You'll notice now that the null object sticks to Anna's back, which is perfect. We can now go ahead and add the text to her back or graphics or anything that you'd like. Design something in here and once you're done, we're going to link the elements to the tracking data. To do so, take the Pick Whip tool next to the layer and link it to the null object. Do this for every element that you've added to the composition. And that's it. As a final touch, what you always want to do is enable motion blur for your elements, which can be done from the layer toggles. Finally, make sure that the global motion blur is enabled as well. And this adds a natural motion blur to your elements that goes together with the camera movements. If you would like to see more tutorials from my short film, then make sure to check out the playlist from the description. Thank you so much for watching and stay creative.